How's it going? My name is Big Money. This here is One Bomb McGraw. We're in this uh, this bunker here, right at the very north of the map. We're this old bastard here, and uh, we've got a duck all kitted out and ready to go. And uh, I'm going to have to go and uh, search that that big bastard that we killed last week. How did you get in here? I, I just used the door, mate. There's something outside. That was an unexpected fight, but we came out on top in the end, as McGraw always does. Right, should I should I do it? Should I risk this? No, no gun. Oh. I actually saw when I looked at the edit, by the way, after I came back, he dropped a weapon. And I'd kind of like to know what it was, because it was a legendary weapon. And Let me see, let me, what have you got? Oh, what? It doesn't even come up. Is this gun any good? It's probably a piece of shit, I really don't know. I just saw it was on the ground, but I never actually looked at it. Either way. Oh, we got, we, we got a bit of space, and uh, the fusion core's going to come in handy soon, because today... We're, uh, we're gonna be doing some Brotherhood of Steel shit. So like I said last week, once I got this out of the way... Oh yeah, the freezing missile launcher. Fuck, I forgot all about that. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna take that shit. Uh, Doug, hold on. But like I said last week, we're gonna do some Brotherhood of Steel stuff today. We're gonna probably go and turn in a couple of quests down with the dance, and then see what happens from there. See, the dog's even got a fucking fusion core on him already. I don't, I don't really know if I can really take anything off of the dog and then give him anything. I mean, we're, we're 13 points over encumbered here. I've got 12 antibiotics now, man. When the fuck did that happen? I don't even have a lot of junk on me. I've just got too much stuff in general. <laughs> yeah, I don't need this uh, submachine gun. It's not even worth that much. And it's, the submachine guns are just not really that good. I haven't put any points into automatic weapons yet either. Oh, right, that actually puts me under again. Oh, nice, right, well, this, uh, th I mean, it's a cool wee submachine gun. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, you want this gun here, Brandis? Here, there's a, there's a Tommy gun for you, all right? If you I if you I just shoot some shit up, then Move then, along, move you along, you're in the way. I'm in the way? Ha, no, he's in the way. Whoa, fuck, man, he's freaking the fuck out. Right, he's got a, a wee holotape here, so let's, uh, let's hear the, the life notes of this crazy bastard then, right? Get that bottle in there, my girl. Brotherhood of Steel Recon Team 429 Alpha. Final report. Our mission has failed. My god. Six hours after insertion, my company was ambushed. We lost five knights and exhausted our power armor reserves. We scuttled the armor to prevent looting, then retreated under fire, abandoning our supplies. I was separated from the two remaining members of my team within a week. Both are missing. Status. He didn't even go out and look for them, though. I'd hope to rendezvous with them at our holdout bunker and seek a means of escape from the Commonwealth. Where is that big bastard? No one has come. No one has come. Except McGraw when he saw those dead bodies. Oh, there he is! Right. Okay, so how do I get up there then? Can I make that jump? Do you think McGraw can make that I don't think he can, but he's gonna he's gonna fucking give it a go, right McGraw? Show everybody what you can do. You could have been a fucking long long jump well, athletics jump kind of gap. McGraw was in the Olympics, you know. Yeah oh, that didn't quite work for that time, right? Okay, let's just let's just go let's just go up and round this way. Come on, McGraw, just just hop on this one bit. If once he gets on this one bit, we're good. But no, no, he can't. Okay. Or at least I thought we would be. Come on, just let me jump. There we go. Ah, there we go. Right, okay. Yeah. There we go. Very slowly and surely we've hopped our way up to victory. Now there's a... There's like a shack there or something. Uh, hold on, let me... Let me get this first. Where is he? Right, okay, there he is. Let's see what shit he's got on him. Hopefully that was worth it. Okay. Do I need more 45 ammo? Probably not. <laughs> Even though I did use a fair amount of it last week when I killed this bloody thing. Right, Deathclaw meat is worth taking, but I'm gonna go over encumbered again. <laughs> Why has he got a desk fan and a fishing rod? Those come from completely different places. Eight shotgun shells would be very useful. And I think that's probably me. Here we go. Get that alcohol drink, McGraw. Whoa, whoa, Doug, whoa. Fucking hell, man, that's... You calm yourself fucking down there, Doug, man, Jesus. All right, let's see what's in this wee building up here then, right? And then I'll start making my way down towards Cambridge. Oh, shit, the cops, the popo. A weapons workbench, that's good. We have a terminal, this expert lock that I can't use, and we have a bed. Huh. So it's just this random shack that just exists for no reason and has a terminal in it that unlocks a fucking sentry, I'm gonna guess. Is that a nice wee spot, though, man? 
you can just chill up on your seat on your patio chair and just not give a fuck, you know? Doug, seriously, man, that's not a place for a for a. <laughs> oh my god, man! Right, well, yeah, I, ca I can't get into that. Yeah, let's get on this. Fuck's sake, Doug. Pikmin's boys now called Chibber. All right, this one's called <laughs> Revolver Scrut Shot. <laughs> it means it means scrotum, right? It means fucking scrotum. I don't know. I was going for some revolver or sort type thing, but like he shoots people in the dick or something. I don't know. Right, yeah, I'm gonna need to get some uh, get some mods going for this thing, man. Oh, 138. That's no bad. Right, this thing's just called Panzer Shrek. It's probably spelt wrong, but I couldn't give two fucks. Did I put that up already? No, I did not. Aye, yeah, there's something up here. Just stay down low, my girl. Stay down low. Keep your wits about you. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's just blood bugs. Right, okay then, if you want. If you want to have a go, wee man, then fucking come on over. Come on over, son. Ah, shit. Shit. Okay, no, this is bad. This is a bad idea. This is a horrifically bad idea. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill both of you now, right? I'm just gonna do that. And I want that. I want the, I want the middle one. There we go. There. And it killed me. He actually killed me. This time there's gonna be no mercy shown to these fuckers, man. I need to stop trying to challenge everything with the fucking orifice annihilator, man. I forgot that these um, these bastards could could put you into that position where they just start stinging you and there's like nothing you can do about it. Right, you. We're not having any of your shite this time, mate. Yeah. Right, next one. Come on, have a fucking go, wee man, eh? Hatchling? Oh, I shouldn't have wasted my shotgun shit on that, but oh well. Right, right, blood bug again. Hatchling, what the fuck's this shit? Oops, uh, I missed. Hold on. There. Oh, there wasn't even a legendary this time. That's fucking shite. I wasn't ready for it last time. They just robbed me of my legendary drop there, because I, I say it robbed me, they fucking killed me last time. Still though, I want my legendary drop. Oh, this for a shitty fucking relay tower thing. They don't really do anything, these things, but if I see them and walking past them, then I'll, I'll activate them, you know. Sometimes you find interesting shit near them. Alright, a whole bunch of radio signals came up. See, I haven't really been through this area properly. This big sector in the middle here. I came up to Ten Pines Bluff originally when I started this whole runoff. I came up to there and then I started going down the way. Uh, I've been up to here and I've been through this sort of section, but I haven't been through this big empty patch in the middle here. And that's kind of what I'm going to need to go through to get back to uh, to dance today. So I'm going to have to just sort of uh, go right through the middle here and maybe go to Covenant or Taffington Boathouse or something. Because they are close by, but expect fucking resistance on the way. See, I look over here and I get 90 frames. I look over here and I get like fucking 40, not 50 frames. I don't know what's going on, man. I think I'm going to have to get rid of that, that frame limiter thing because it's honestly fucking my game up. I keep forgetting to do something about it until I'm actually in the middle of recording some shit. Oh yeah, I remember this place. This guy up the top here. Oh, I've completely ran out of sniper ammo as well. I really need to go and buy some fucking ammo. <laughs> Once I get to the Pridwin, I should be okay. It's out there. Someone set up, set up a camp over there. The fishing spot. Dark Hollow Pond. That sounds fucking cheery. Was it called that before? Shit went down in the, the Great War. I swear. Right, my luck hunter. Next to a radar psycho who's just lying there. Put this up top then, radar waster, right. Die man. Fucking... Seriously? How you know, dude? Stop biting my dog, you, you, you wee cunt. Right. Right, you. Mate, there we go. Oh, he just disappeared. Right, there you are, there you are. Right, this guy isn't exactly the toughest. Right, come on. Oh wait, no, he's actually got quite a hit on him there, there with that gun. I don't know what he's using, but it j just die. Oh shit, no, he's definitely dead now. Oh, he dropped a... Oh, I thought it was a bottle of vodka. I'm a wee bit disappointed. Oh, we got some... Uh... Oh, he was using a 50 cal pipe bolt action pistol. What the fuck? No wonder it hit like a fucking tank there, man. I wish I could take a suppressor off of that and just put it on a gun that I need a suppressor for. The only gun I've got a suppressor on is the fucking sniper rifle at this point. This thing kind of sounds like it's got a suppressor, but it doesn't. Right, that guy didn't have anything decent. I don't even know where he went after I shot him. He just sort of disappeared. Right, cool. Did I raid the inside of this place? Just a sleeping bag and a radio. Let me just switch that shit off. He went to sleep with a fucking radio on next to him. 
Oh wait, there he is over there. Where is he going? Where are you going, pal? Come on over. Shit. I didn't take into account the fact that I can't really hit him when he goes under. Okay, no, he does a lot of damage in that shit, right, okay. Right, just, just hit him a bunch. That really didn't do very much, did it? Hoping there's not more. Come on, me man. Hey! I have a feeling there's gonna be a Marlark Queen that's gonna just appear. Someone said something in the comments last week about a Marlark Queen that I managed to avoid. And I don't know what he was talking about. <laughs> have I even fought a Marlark Queen yet since uh, since I started this, this playthrough? I'm not sure I have. They're kind of one of those enemies in this game that they show up unexpectedly and either they, they're really easy to kill or really, really difficult to kill. If you get a low level one, a few nice place shots usually they go down, but if you get caught out in the open, man, you can get fucked up by those things. Whoa! Okay then, just, just teleport right over to me then, Mr. Rad Scorpion, mate. Come on. Oh, what? You got away, right? Okay. Hey! No! Denied, son. People keep saying to me in the comments, right, that this weapon is completely and utterly useless against anything that's rad resistant. I completely disagree. This thing shits all over fucking half of the stuff in this game that it's still supposed to not be good against. I mean, I've killed plenty of rad scorpions, super mutants, ghouls, all sorts of shit. I get that the rad damage doesn't exactly affect them that much, but the gun fires fast enough and does enough damage to kill people quickly whenever you're in a hurry. It's a good base standard weapon to have on you. Oh. No, no thanks. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting reset back to the start again. No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not just gonna fight that robot. Even against robots though, the, I think it does the job, right? Unless it's something that's like really, really tanky. It does the job. But I, I might still go and grab that, uh, is it Overseer's Guardian or something like that it's called? I can't remember, it was a few episodes ago. Everyone was telling me to go and get it because it's apparently the best gun in the game and all the rest of it. Oh shit, Super Mutants, hello. Hmm. Do I have- oh, I do have a couple of- Yes, right, okay. They won't even know why that happened, hey, hey, hey. Cyber- oh, shit. Let me just keep- whoa, there's a robot working around here somewhere. Oh, no. Yeah. It's not that one I saw on the hill. Ah, no, no, wait, mate, get away from me. Get away from me now. Okay, he's dead. I don't know why he was out here on his own. Where'd he go? No, seriously, where did he go? There he Oh, wait, there's a bug bug. Oh, yeah, there's fucking loads of them around here, ain't there? Right, well, he's dead now. Oh, shit. Let me keep my eye out for these bastards. Okay, it's just hatchlings. But I need to be wary. Just keep on moving through. Keep on moving through. I don't need to fight all of the blood bugs. But I could just... Could just end up. Oh wait, shit, no. Let's just keep going. Ah, fuck, you saw me. Get out of my way, son. Nope. I'm not dying to the bloody blood bugs again. <laughs> right. No having it. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna just save it because I can't be arsed getting reset all the way back to the top again. And my frames are dying. Seriously, Fallout, what is what's fucking going on? What is the deal with this shit? There are two people in here now. You're looking pretty fucking sad, mate. Cheer up, son. Let's get a wee six hours sleep. Make sure we're nice and rested for the journey ahead. Is anytime I look in this direction, it just 30 FPS. Like, what is. Oh, I got fucking disease, man. How lethargy. Fuck's sake. Oh, some shit's going on over there. There's super mutants that live over there, so they must be having a fucking war with someone. Alright, I just went and fucked with some more settings, and it's... Now I'm getting solid 60 FPS. Fantastic. See, that's the thing that's kind of annoying with the whole thing, is the fact that... Before I even started messing around with the frame limiter thing at all, 
I was easily getting like 140 frames and everything looked smooth as fuck and it looked really good outside of like talking to people in the game everything looks so good but then it, it obviously there has to be a drawback because it's a fucking Bethesda game and for some reason they're just completely incapable of just making a game that works as well as having all the complicated shit in there they do a lot of complicated stuff with the engine but for some reason they can never get it all to fully work it doesn't matter what game it is that they make anyway let's just fill up our bottles of water here and probably dump some junk and I'm thinking as well I'm probably going to start, maybe off camera, uh, doing some uh, base building. I might do that this week. Play the game off screen. And the, the only thing is, the only problem why the reason that I've really kind of left it for so long is the fact that, well, basically, you level up when you're doing the base build and everything, every single thing that you make, you get XP for it. So, naturally, what's going to end up happening is uh, I'm going to end up like a really fucking, like getting a lot of levels out of it. And I didn't really necessarily want to do that off screen, if you know what I mean. I wanted a every single bit of progression that Migro does. I was kind of wanting to do, you know, where you guys can see it as part of the series. But to be totally honest, this series, I don't even know how many episodes I'm going to end up doing of this fucking thing, man. At this rate, there's going to be quite a lot. <laughs> I mean, I'm only 21 episodes in uh, as of today, but I'm not that far into the game. I'll be honest, I'm really not that far. I've not even touched Nuka World, not even touched, uh, no oh, shit. What is it with these blood bugs? Fuck off. You're interrupting me mid-thought here. I'm trying to do stuff. I thought I heard something there. That's why I stopped. Right, there we are. Hello, Mr. Bloodbug. How you doing? There we go. Not very well, apparently. But I've not even done Far Harbor. I've not done any Nuka World. I don't know if I'm going to do Far Harbor, by the way, but I'm going to definitely do Nuka World for the people that were asking about that. I mean, it's all to do with raiders and taking over the whole fucking Commonwealth and shit. Like, obviously I'm going to do that. I don't know how any of it works, because so far, uh, Nuka World-wise, I've only really played the first, like, third of it. That's where I was. That's what I was playing right before I started this playthrough, and because I started this playthrough, I stopped playing this off, like, you know, not on YouTube. I don't like it. What is this? Uh Right, no, that it says that thing is gonna is gonna absolutely murder me. I don't know where he came from because I just walked past there, but okay. Uh what do I just leave or do I, I just saved it, so I might as well have a go. Hold on. I'm just gonna put all that there, right? And then I'm I'm probably just, oh man, this, this thing is, well, you know what, it's not really, it says it's really tough, and then when I go into this mode, it's, it says it's not that tough. Die, son. Okay, let me just back up. Duck, 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 duck. Okay, he's dead now. I think I might have wasted quite a lot of, I wasted too many mines there probably, but it got the job done. It said that thing was gonna murder me, so I, I've, you know, I'm happy that it didn't even get close. It's not gonna explode, is it? I don't hope it doesn't explode. <laughs> no, we, we good? We're good. I'm chewing through the 45 ammo, we're down to 240 bullets. I had 450 towards the end of the last episode. <laughs> not a bloody blood, blood bug, go away. Oh shit. Hello. One of these has got hit. Nope, none of them hit. That's fantastic. There's something glowing to my right. I don't know what it is. It's a fucking rad roach. Okay. <laughs> Alright then. Go be quiet. Going out of this place. We don't know what's... What's inhabiting this here... Uh, town. Have I been through this? Oh shit. Something kicking off over there. Duck, we need to be quiet. Keep the noise down. Oh, that's a nice hat you've got there, pal. Whoa, growl, what? Mate, who the fuck are you? No, seriously, are you are you going to attack me or something? Is he going to talk? Eh. Eh. Uh, uh, correction, pal. Who the fuck was that? I thought he was gonna talk to me or something. Girls list. 
Okay, I'll take the... What's the potted meat? What is that? I don't know if I want that. That's probably a person. I'm going to take that chef hat, though. There's no way I'm not taking that chef hat. You don't merely walk past my girl with a fucking chef hat on and him not question or want that. What was Grill's list? Who the fuck was Grill and what was he wanting? Other than pro... He was probably a cannibal. I'm, let's be honest. He was probably a cannibal. Right, let me see. What, what were you... What were you talking about then? Grill's shopping list. A few pounds of Yao Guai meat. Half dozen death claw eggs, my work meat, soft shell only, beer, lots, I like this, this guy's good, and a cup of glowing one, but what they don't know won't hurt him. What the fuck is, does he run like a stall or something? Why'd they try and fucking shoot me? I didn't do anything, I was just walking down the street. I was questioning, I was I was actually gonna compliment him on his hat, I wanted to see if he, what he had to say for himself. Then he decided to fucking open fire at me, man, that's never a good choice when McGraw's walking about with his fucking shotgun out. He very quickly found out that was a bad idea. <laughs> right, we're, we're very close now, surely. Where's... Yeah, yeah, we're getting quite close. Alright. Oh shit. Hello. You guys doing? Apart from dying a very painful death, where'd his pal go? No, seriously, where did his pal go? His pal was right there. Oh, there he is, right, okay, well. Go and get him, Doug. You hiding? Aye, you were just trying to enjoy the radio, or is that what you were trying to do then? Well, there you are, fucking geek. You walking helmet bastard. Right. Oh, shit. Seriously, though, I'm so close to where I need to go, can we not do this, please? Are you blind? I think he might be blind. Let me see what he's, how good his pal is. Right, his pal's not very good. Right, so... Ah... Uh, they're just sort of wandering in circles. See, this is... This is when I, like, shoot at him and then all of a sudden he's made... A, a suicider appears out of nowhere. Right, that's him deeds then. His pal's away over there. Seriously, pal, I'm over here. <laughs> really didn't want to do anything about that, did he? He was just sort of standing there. Alright, okay, well, we have a level up. Let me just do that. Let me just do that shit while I remember. Right, okay, so, I could get extra damage on pistols. That would be kind of useful in getting a bit more power out of my revolver and out of a couple other things that I've got on me. In fact, I think my revolver might be the only pistol I've got on me. See, no one's actually said to me yet, but see the Orifice Annihilator? Does that come under Iron Fist or does that come under Big Leaks? I still don't know. Now, I've been saying I'm going after Critical Banker, so let me just get one more point in luck. And then probably by the end of uh, turning in all these quests and doing the, the going to the Pridwin and doing all that shit, I'll probably have another level up coming pretty soon, because of how quickly I've been rattling through all this shit. How we doing here, lads? We just occupying this place. A whole case of ammo holding this site. Suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's going to move on this place now that the Pridwin's in town. Oh, and they sound so sure about that. I might make a move on this place. You wouldn't stand a fucking chance, hen. It was me that fucking held this place. Except when I died those two times when I did it, but I still managed it in the end. Ah oh, shit, he needs to die right now. Uh, and I'm dead. That was a fucking mess that day. Right, let's get inside here, duck. Let's, uh, let's see what this big fucking stupid cunt's saying. Alright, Buzz Lightyear. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. You sound like you've got a fucking erection there, mate. What was with that big fucking Nazi Zeppelin outside? You want to tell me something about that? Call our ship, the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Going to war? I'm already at war with pretty much everyone, mate. Don't worry, I'll make this war a fucking rapid, quick victory. For McGraw, maybe not for you. Whether or not you're on my side is up to you, really. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I, I think the Pridwin's gonna get to know McGraw up close and personal. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Well, hold on, mate. Right, I've got other shit to take care of here first. Right, you better have you. some good news. Or what, what the fuck are you gonna do about it, Reese, you fucking clown? Can I, can you get out of my face? <laughs> You're getting a bit close here. I'm gonna feed you to my dog one day, you cunt. But I, I've, whatever it was you asked me to do, I've done it, alright? Right. Keep it up and I may start believing you got some real guts. As Mate. long as the Brotherhood's around. And him, keep up that chat and I'm gonna actually see your guts, pal. Hey, I'm ready, whatever. Just Here's give me another mission. Target. I don't wanna see your face until that place is clear. Honestly, man, I'm... 
I don't, I just don't like the jip this fucking guy gives me. I, I just don't like it at all, man. I mean, that kind of attitude gets you fucking turned into fucking giblets. Right, where's this other cow then? No, you'll know him. Or her. Scribe Helen, wake your ass up. Come on. How's that search going? Were you able to find the artifact? Eh, uh, probably. I can't remember, but here yes. Yeah, apparently yes. Oh shit! Oh, the, you know what the boss thing is? I forgot all about Covenant being under attack and I walked right fucking past it. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> I could, for once I could have actually defended one of my settlements and I just chose not to. Or at least I kind of just forgot that that was happening. Oh well, too bad for them. I think there's only like two people there and one of them's a fucking robot that dispenses lemonade, so I don't give a shit. Haptic drive from Chestnut Kill Station or whatever, I don't care. But, if you run into any sense, shoot to kill. We don't take prisoners. Do you think McGraw he says that while standing in a room full of cages? <laughs> Apparently there's a uh, purified water and stem back. Right. Hey Doug, you need to, you need to get in this uh, this big monstrosity of a vehicle they've got here. Right, climb on in, McGraw. Let's go. How did the dog even get up here? I like how they give you this to make it feel like you've got something to do. But you can do this mission without touching the fucking keyboard or mouse. You don't want to fire on the locals. I've already fired on the locals several hundred times so far, so I don't think it's much of an issue. Yeah, it looks less fucking loaded in. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. It's pretty much the same as you, to be honest with you. Except their lasers are blue. Oh wait, we're gonna probably see this shitstorm over here. See that big sentry bot fucker there on top of the ship? He's not an enemy, that's why I'm not shooting at him. He's part of a quest, if I shoot at him the whole quest fails. <laughs> what an exciting mission this is. Yay. You look like you're really enthralled there, Doug. I ain't even gonna shoot at anyone. Ah, take that fish. Right, well. This was... This was, uh, exciting. Now... Now we'll, we'll, we'll move on to this next bit then. Alright, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. What do you mean when everything changes? I'm still going to be a murderous psychopath when I get in the Pridwin and then when I leave it again, I'm just going to be a very well-armed murderous psychopath. I mean, it's not, I'm not even saying that I'm no well-armed now, but they're going to give me power armor soon, so that's going to be good. Right, right okay then. Eh. Did I press E? Right, okay there. Good. Right, dance. Better watch you don't walk off the side. My dog is definitely going to jump off of this. Come on, dog. Yeah, we Permission Grant. Welcome back. Allow me to be oh. the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted Aye. into initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved You've been sending emails out that's... place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the tribute and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victoria, Captain. Ad yeah, Victoria. fucking really struggling there with a the concept of walking. Yeah, that dance, right? Ah, right, well done. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier. Today. That's because I'm not a soldier. I'm a fucking lunatic. What do you mean I don't look like a soldier? I'm literally wearing army gear, you stupid cunt. Soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine. <laughs> not a relic from the past is playing catch up with the rest of the world. The fuck if you talking Dance about, Paul? You talking shit about Megaro? What? We wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. I've read <laughs> Paladin Dance's reports. <laughs> I'm sure it'll work out better this time. <laughs> to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal. Annihilate to everything. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission. No matter I won't, how I, I won't jeopardize the mission are. of annihilating Understood. everything. That's kind of my goal as well. But all right, okay, you know what? You know what? Instead of assuming that you have the same goals that I do, what are what are your fucking goals? What is your mission? What are you here to do? Because I'm just here to kill shit. I'm not at liberty to say. Elder what? Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly. And I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, can it be like, oh, we're on a mission. 
We're on a great crusade, and then when I ask you what it is, you just say, I don't know. <laughs> no, tell me, son. No. Oh, we'll just fuck. have to wait until Elder Maxon addresses the question. Should I put the suit now on? dispense with the questions. It's time to get to work. Understood? That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. You just said stop asking questions, and then you fucking literally ten seconds later are like, right, ask me questions. Oh, have you got any of that shiny armor shit, man? I could, I could really do with that. Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor, and you're no knight, not yet. Until what? Elder Maxon grants you that I'm a fucking Dark title. Knight, son. I'm more Batman than you, anyway. So who's this Elder Maxon cunt? Is he a good guy or is he a wank? I need to know these things. Elder Maxon is the supreme commander of the Brotherhood. He's an inspiration to us all. He sounds like a wank. Uh, well, I'm not even going to ask him what my orders are. McGraw does not take orders. He takes requests. You do not fucking give McGraw orders, or else you will find yourself on the end of a very sharp stick. I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Right, bro. Well, cool. Eh, uh, aye, Doug, come on, let's go. Doug, no, stop, stop it. He's like walking towards this big gap over here, but <laughs> he was thinking about it. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. All right, cheers, bud. Uh, there's Max in there. Are right, you okay? All right, lads. Sisters, your new leader the is here. Behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction, and most impressively, without question. I have several though. Known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous I'm just gonna technologies. Get about, about his that could prove here. to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They hmm. call their creation the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. Sounds this pretty impressive, though. Notion man. You've got to at least that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. No, I'd say and X Machina like went well. If it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies hey, of the Brotherhood I'm still of Steel. standing here. And should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. Oh man, now he knows my way, he knows my methods. And many lives will be lost. Is everyone here in this country? But in the here, end, man? we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. It's Ad Victorium. Whoa, shit, what? <laughs> Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! <laughs> that was such a delay on I that, though. Them, you know, the people of the Commonwealth. You just fucking got here, what are you talking about? You don't know the people of the Commonwealth, son. I know the people of the Commonwealth because I fucking killed half of them. But you don't know shit, son. If you say so. I can understand your indecisiveness. Turning your weapons on the very same people that you're trying to save can be a bitter pill to swallow. No, no it can't. That's, that's the best fucking way. That's, I, I, that's pretty much sport to McGraw, you know. But the fuck you wanting for McGraw anyway? Why the fuck am I even here? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. Responsibility? I've Mate, I will Alan take responsibility Gans, once I own it. Okay. You've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, oh. I'm granting you the rank they, they, of They literally Latin. just give you and straight up at the start. I thought that. Your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to All protect right, you. Alright, fantastic. I asked the cunt outside about that and they told me I wasn't fucking good enough yet. And then I walk inside and you instantly go, Right, pal, you're good enough. Here's your fucking power armor suit. Go fuck some shit up. So, I mean, Maxon's okay. Maxon's, he's no, he's no bad. He, I know he can be a bit of a dick at some points, right? I've, I've played this game before. But so far, so far, first impression wise for McGraw, Maxon's alright. He's talking about swift and brutal, Something merciless murder. Don't interrupt me. Talking about swift, brutal, merciless annihilation of everything. 
while trying to save everyone, a bit mixed messaging there, but he at least respects McGraw enough to give him some toys to play with, so that's good. But aye, cheers pal, I'll murder fucking hunters I cunts. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. I'll make myself proud first, but alright then. And also we've unlocked a little settlement that's in the airport now. People, someone was asking I think a couple episodes ago why I didn't just use that settlement. That's because I wasn't allowed to until I did this, which I've now obviously done, so. Oh, antibiotics. Nice. Congratulations on the promotion, mate. Alright, cheers pal. You heard about that pretty fucking quickly, didn't you? Ah, this guy gives you a I quest. We're due for a bit of a chat after you oh, right, I need to go and do all this shit first before I actually dance. lets me. So how did it look out there? Alright, Buzz. Got a there lot you of are. Work ahead of us, how did it go with Elder Max? Aye, nae bad. They made me a fucking nightmare and I'm, I'm, I'm like important as shit now. When do I get my, my battle armor and lance then? Do I get a horse? I'd love a horse. Get a full fucking armor suit on, my lance, a sword and all that shit. It'd be fucking some, some medieval You're shit, man. Quiet. Do you need a medic or something? You don't shut up, you're gonna need that medic. Well that Maxon cunt, he's he fucking he's dedicated to fucking this place up, isn't he? How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. McGraw does not screw up, son. Okay? There. And he killed me. He actually killed me. McGraw only fucks up. Others, not not himself. Now this time, this time you die, mate. Oh, hon. <laughs> so, just so you fucking know. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the institute. Aye. But first He's things my first. Armor. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Nah, mate, you can fuck off. I've got a duck to do that way, alright? Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. Yeah, no wonder that's where you spend most of your time, you fat cunt. If Elder Maxon ordered me to follow no, him, it's no use. Hell, you, right? I'll be the yeah. first one to kick them open. This guy looks like him at a fucking Ghostbusters. Proctor Quinlan. Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What books? We fucking. Wait. What? You're on about we man. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. What? The fuck? Is this guy giving me a lip? I'm not understanding quite exactly what he's doing right now, what he's talking about. What? What? Medical <laughs> volumes, repair manuals, design philosophies, medical I think it might have skipped a line of dialogue here because I'm confused. I know what the guy wants. He wants technical documents. Uh, right, okay, it agree to whatever. To get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? All right, okay, no, I was uh, I was wondering what was going on there with that conversation. They told me to talk to all you uh, wankers, yes. so I'm doing it all right. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Has everyone read Under this? Is this the gossip of the Pridwin or something? I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Where did they find this, like, kinda half English sounding guy? I can't tell if he's English or just one of those kinda weird posh American guys that almost sound English. I can't tell. Hold on, we'll get more words out of him and see if we can work this out. If he's English, then he's in my bad books. McGraw's near fan. Your silence is disconcerting. No, he's definitely English, pal. What are you fucking doing over here? It was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Ah, uh, well, I still think you're a wanker. For clarification, by the way, I have nothing against English people. I have family down there and everything. But McGraw, McGraw does not like the English. <laughs> he had a bad experience with an Englishman one time. He almost there, lost an eye. Quiet. Just unfortunately for English guy, he lost both now. eyes. I can fix it. Well, you're the one who hell. decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. Over here, stop fucking around with that fucking. Like I need like in the game, I've got the dog running about like a fucking loony, and then in my actual room over here, I've got a dog fucking licking my computer. Gonna, gonna go, gonna. <laughs> I'll fucking feed you in a wee bit. You've already been fed. 
You greedy bastard. And this even came with a fusion core in it as well, man. Nice straight. I heard the Elder Mac and got this car on his face. I'm going one on one with a death claw. Feels like you can take on the world. Ooh. That's so so scary. I've never done that before. Right. I took on two death claws last week, you can hold on. I'm not finished talking to everybody yet, so I might as well just leave us here for a second. So there we go. Let me go and speak to this guy. All right, Excuse Paul. me, Proctor Teagan. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. I can't promise you the same thing, pal. But no bother, I'll fucking stay back. Alright. I'm only having a bit of fun with you, Knight. I know I was kidding you on the you fuck. You need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission. This is the place to buy them. Well, that's a load of shit. Why do you not just give us them? Fuck's sake. I mean, I need to kill shit for the Brotherhood. I, I, and I need to pay to kill shit for the Brotherhood. That doesn't make any fucking sense, pal. Keeping the Brotherhood supply takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. That's Elder Maxon's order. So wait, hold on. No, no seriously, but we're all paying to, to, to work for the I'm Brotherhood. That makes literally zero sense. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. That sounds awfully creepy there, pal. I'm no... I, I don't give out blowjobs or nothing, right? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. Just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. It's no rape and pillage, and is it? In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. What do you mean even ammo? Like obviously I'm gonna need fucking ammo. If you're selling shitloads of guns, then you're gonna be selling bullets. Otherwise you're just doing it wrong, mate. Fad, you know what? I should really make use of uh, all this stuff so, here. Hey. Walking away like that is just plain rude. Hey, I wasn't even fucking trying to talk Proctor to you. Ingram. Okay, so, okay. I'm... You're the new recruit I heard about. Why you stand still? You, uh, Jesus. Hey, walking away like I'm that. I'm fucking is just standing plain right rude. here, you fucking mutant-looking bastard. So, Why you just you're talk? You're the new recruit I heard about. Huh? Not what I was expecting. What? You didn't expect McGraw? I know you weren't expecting anything anywhere near as godlike as McGraw. Come on, take fuck. I mean, I know you were expecting some fucking average walloper, but you know, hey, you get McGraw, so you're fucking you, lucky. Right? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Yeah, Anyways, annihilation. Anyway, you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's you came Ingram, over to me, okay. this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Prid one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone I mean, my dick is massive, so me. it is a wee bit tight, but alright then, cool. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. You say you're not as spry, right? Do you not have any legs? I've always kind of wondered this about this person. Did she? Is she lost? Does she have no legs? Hold on, let me, let me assume control of this month. Let me, right, hold on, look down, McGraw. Yeah, she, I mean, there's no legs here. She has no legs, so that's you know unfortunate for you. Oh wait, no, it says right there, missing legs. I'm gonna uh, let's comment on this. How you ended up that way? That's a little personal, don't you think? No, tell me. I need to know. What, no, hold on. I need to put the suit. Always gets the. The, the the stories out. Gonna just turn up fucking. I've never ever seen this before, so I don't know what she's even gonna say. Come on, you can trust my girl with this. Would it help if I promise not to tell anyone else? I'm not really looking for sympathy. Fuck. And honestly, I don't know you that well. Maybe some other time. Anyway, Shame. I'm sure you're Bastard. here to get Bastard. Even the suit wasn't to enough to charm this fucking woman. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. No bother. You came over to me though, man. You ain't be giving me any of that attitude. Yeah. This is McGraw these days. <laughs> I might even just wear the hat just for the sake of it. Charging into a situation guns blazing is a good way to get yourself killed. It's also a good way to kill everything else. Have I finished uh, talking to everyone yet? Yeah, I need to go back and talk to him. Unless you like think getting shot. I'm um, good to just talk to Tegan. Come back when you're done introducing. Oh, fuck, I've already yourself. done it, yeah, can't. Sick. Right. Let's get a sleep in so I don't have to go through a whole bunch of shit again to get to this point. Yeah, in the suit, McGraw. We got super mutants to kill. Right, Jeez, that's, let's yeah, fucking right. get this show on the road. Alright, send dog me. Oh no, wait, hold on. No, no, I wait, hold on. Doug. Where's my dog? No. Hey, what do you want? Excuse no. me, Paladin Dance? Yeah? 
Uh, dismiss. It's about time for you to go, Dance. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this uh -huh. come back alive. I thought I had to do this for the mission, but apparently, fuck you. <laughs> Hangman's Alley, Hangman's Alley. Go to Hangman's Alley, right? Where's my dog? You should see the capital wasteland. Where is the dog? Shit. I might have just sent the dog away. <laughs> fuck. I thought I had to go and talk to him for the next bit of the mission. I didn't realise I was going to fucking get rid of my dog right there and then on the spot. Shit. Well, the dog looks like he's went back to... Oh, what I should have done was sent him to the... Let's talk to Brock the Fatigue. fucking place downstairs. Ugh. Right, well, I'm, uh, I think I've lost the dog. I think the dog's away. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and get him next week. Right. Glad you oh, you're the doctor by, then, soldier. right. Are you ready for your medical exam? Hey, you're not gonna be sticking any fingers up my arsehole now, are you? I'm no into that fucking shit. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. Right, okay, It's then. my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. Were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Well, I mean, I didn't walk about in a fucking wasteland hellhole when I was growing up, son, because the world was a nice and shiny place, but I came out and it was a fucking death zone. So, oh, I've been doing adding to the death since then, but before then, no, I was fine. Before the bombs? What? Let me check my notes. I was a popsicle for a wee while, mate. You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Are you okay? Have you ever had we, or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Oh, I've had all of the diseases, pal. I've... You can't, you can't. I've never been sick. We all know that's not true, man. McGraw's had every disease going at this stage. Have you had problems with the crew catching diseases? Nah, either. Well, you've not got a fucking bubonic yes, plague actually, about this fucking place. It's not place, unusual have you? for our recon teams to stumble across contaminated environments or disease carrying creatures. We don't want a single crewman infecting the entire ship. Anyway, uh, well, this you'll exam be is about fucking you, plague so... after McGraw. Have you had or come in contact with anyone carrying a communicable disease? No. Why is there no option to just say no? In fact, it says, never been sick, I don't remember, and you're kidding. How could I not just say yes to fuck with the guy? I could say that, but no, it doesn't give me the option. Bethesda, sort your fucking shit out. Well, you don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects. Is that a really so smart decision there from the doctor? Third question, and please Hey, my girl's always honestly. honest. Have you Doesn't ever have had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Well, I was a goat one time, but eh. Uh, oh, well, we should, we should we probably should tell a bit. Uh, no. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone oh man, you, can, <laughs> you don't know what you're getting in for, but I get my girl on board then. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? Eh, uh, no, def definitely not. No, I've never. If I fucking don't don't tell him nothing. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties. That's good. All right then. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. <laughs> oh Jesus! All right, okay. <laughs> How much XP did I get for that there? That doesn't feel like very much, but I'm gonna go and talk to to fucking dance real quick here. It might give me a nice. Oh shit! Look at that! Oh fucking hell, man! Holy Jesus! <laughs> 1700 fucking XP for, for that? <laughs> what? Okay then, nah, that, you know, Edit Savant, every week I'm, I'm just repeating myself, Edit Savant is the best thing ever. <laughs> you just get free points for literally no reason sometimes. Right, let's go and do this wee mission then, meet up with, with all Buzz Lightyear out here and, and fuck up some super mutants. Oh, I should go and save again, shouldn't I? I should probably go and save again just to make sure that I get that XP boost, considering how fucking massive an XP boost that is. Rescue settler from easy... Oh. Oops. <laughs> I didn't realise that that was uh, time sensitive, but... Oh well, that's too bad for them. <laughs> I'm waiting for Maxim. What the fuck are you doing over here? You try to go for a dramatic shot here or something? Ready for your next assignment, brother. Does it involve killing things? Because I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit antsy here. I've not killed anything for a wee while. I'm getting withdrawal symptoms. It's been a whole like 20 minutes since something has died. Take a look over there. That's for that popped collar all but And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. 
To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of Fat Man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. That sounds like the McGraw way of doing things. Aye, they bother, pal. That's McGraw's kind of work right there. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute. But it'll have to wait. I'm eager to take the, the fight to anyone. Allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Don't worry, I'll take care of the dirty bastards. Right. Why are they shooting at a vertebrate for target practice? That seems a bit of a waste. Is this the vertebrate that I... Okay, right in the vertebrate. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right, here we go. Get right in the Valkyries on. Let's fucking get in there. You shooting at my vertebrate for your cunts? Did it really, though? They've got, like, a whole base of guys, right? And their plan is they'll send one guy, the new recruit, right? They don't know McGraw is a fucking absolute machine at this point yet. But they send one guy in a vertebrate over to destroy an entire fucking super mutant... Uh, island, pretty much. They're in a fucking fort. I need to take on a, a super mutant fortress by myself, even though they have manpower. <laughs> that behemoth has to go. That's... Let's, uh, let's do a bit of damage to him then. Get the fuck, big man. We don't want any of your pish. He, the, the fucking behemoths move so weirdly. No, I keep him, keep him on this side. I can't shoot on the other side, fuck's sake. Oh, we have another Veribird. Okay, never mind. I totally thought they were just going to send McGraw over by himself. <laughs> okay, okay, kill it. Legendary Super Mutant Butcher. I should probably do something about that. I think as soon as I kill that behemoth, it sets me down, so I really shouldn't do that too quickly. Come on. Get some shots in. Get that butcher. Get that butcher. Get that fucking butcher. Just kill the behemoth. Fuck it. Come on. Come on. Look at that thing bleed. <laughs> Is that thing you really say? Whoa, we just flew right through the other vertebrae. Okay, that's some good piloting right there. Right. Hey man, just... Just... Let go, just give up. Seriously though, no. Se no seriously, is this happening right now? Just fucking... Oh nice, another 500 XP, big guy. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh shit, okay, well. Stuff is seriously kicking off around here, right. Wee man, you need to go down, right, come on. Okay, shit. Just get those hits in, get those hits in now, kill him. Fucking kill him, there we go, there we go. Again, I know this weapon's not good against super mutants, but it gets the job done, right? My alternative is just using like a really shitty fucking pistol or something. And that's no really that good, right? So... See? Three shots and he's dead. And you tell me that's not worth using? Come on. Apparently I'm still in danger. Oh, oh. Hello, mate. Ha <laughs> ha! Right. I've secured Fort Strong. Because McGraw's a fucking machine. What, what what good shit have you got for me then, behemoth? But I actually got some space. I've only got a little bit of extra space, even though I'm wearing a fucking power armor suit right now. I don't understand how that works. Is there some sort of limit on how much space you can possibly get? Don't need any of that shit. Where's the legendary? I killed a legendary over here. Lucky synth right arm. Plus two luck, and it's actually a pretty decent wee, wee piece there. What's this left arm? This is, uh, I really like that though. I do really like that. The fact that they go up in flames and get frozen at the same time, like by the other two, the other armor piece as well. 13 and 14, whereas that's 14 and 17. And it gives me plus two luck, which probably is gonna give me a whole bunch more crits and stuff. So it's probably worth just taking that, to be honest with you. Uh, I can't switch it out yet though, because uh, I'm in my power armor suit. So I don't wanna. Well, there's nothing around. Fuck it, fuck it. We'll get out of this right now, right? Hold on. Yeah, I've still got my chef hat on. <laughs> oh yeah, and I level up. Fuck, I probably... Yeah, well, I've got one level up and I've done a wee bit into the next level already anyway. Oh well, I have been trying to get Critical Banker, so... Boom. Critical Banker, done. Right. Oh, there's someone's arm. <laughs> I'll just take your stuff then, pal. Okay, there it is, right. 
Oh no, it's a right arm. Ah oh, shit, what have I got on my right arm? Oh, it's always a fucking right arm, you know that? You know what? You know what, I think the martyr gear, even though it is really good, it's just... It's no quite cutting it at this point. It only weighs three, so I can keep it on me at the moment. But I do kind of feel like uh, the martyr piece doesn't really work the higher the level you get. At least for an armor piece that's that weak. Like, the actual armor itself is not that good. But the, the martyr, like, legendary effect is really good. But the fact is... I'm taking shots that are doing more damage than 20%, so usually I can jump from like 30% health to dead instantly. So there's no point in having a fucking legendary effect that only comes into effect after 20%, so it's a wee bit unfortunate. See what these fuckers have got to say for themselves. Oh fuck man, that's a bit of a mess there, isn't it man? Sack the fucking cleaner in this place. Oh, What's that? Ah oh, shit. Right, well, ten shotgun shells. Let's uh, let's use a couple of these, right? Come on! Oh fuck! Fuck! Right, eh, uh, eh, eh. I'm gonna just ah, uh, you know what? Right there, that'll do nicely then. Right, okay, son, just. Right. Oh fucking hell! Okay, uh, I'm gonna just. Oh shit! Well, let's slow him down. That isn't doing shit. That isn't doing shit. Let's have a let's have a quantum. Let's just let's just have one of those right now, you know. <laughs> right, right, pal. No more breathing for you, alright. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that there. Let's just. Come on, mate, just die, right? Right there, yeah, that's right. There's another one just came running around the fucking corner. Come on, pal. You Come on! Yeah! Right. Whoa, we done a fucking really dramatic flip. <laughs> Explosive hunting rifle. Ooh. You know what? I'm taking that and I'm gonna I'm gonna switch out my sniper rifle for that one. I'll just put all of the mods onto that from uh, from the original rifle. Alright, nice. And I'm over in Cumbog. Fantastic. Just drink whiskey, my girl, right? Fuck it, we're in a rampage here, so you might as well just have all the whiskey. I think like I was trying to say earlier on, I think I'll probably go and grab the overseer's garden. The Overseer's Garden was what I was going to call that there. The Overseer's Guardian from uh, from the vault. Once I go back in that direction. I know some people have been saying about it, but I haven't been over that way yet because I can't just teleport about the place because I'm not fucking playing this on normal mode. This is some survival mode shit. McGraw only goes all the way or none, none of the way at all. <laughs> McGraw only does fucking hardcore lads, come on. Nah, I get people telling me in the comment section like, bullets don't weigh anything, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> this is survival mode. Everything weighs something, except money and bottle caps. What a technical document. Alright, cool. That'll get me some caps. Man, this guy got fucking wasted. Uh, should I have come down here? I don't know if I should have came down here because there's... Oh no, wait, no, there's definitely guys down here. Right, okay. The guy's really bored. Let's spice up his day. And... Uh, right, and deet. Right, come on lads, fucking throw everything you've got at me. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, well no, no, don't, don't, don't throw everything you've got at me. <laughs> Fuck it, let's have a, let's have a stim pack, right. I don't like- oh fucking hell. Good thing I, I just threw that over his head there, I could have killed myself if I hit him in the face. Right, and that's you did. Right. Okay. Let's get that done now. Oh, that did absolutely fuck all, fantastic. Right, I need to watch out for whoever the fucks. Oh shit. You done? Good job, pal. Right, well. Fucking put him out of his misery, uh, something just exploded, I don't like it. Get reload in, come on. Is he gonna come up and challenge me? Apparently not. Alright, kill then, I'll just fucking take his head. Oh shit! Uh, uh, okay, he missed, he missed, he missed, right, son. I'm not, you're not getting another shot. You're not, no, die. Just stop that fucking shit. Well, let me just... Oh, fucking hell, alright then. <laughs> Is everyone dead? <laughs> I hope everyone's dead. 
<laughs> when it throws guys like that, good thing that guy was only a shitty bog standard super mutant, but he fucking, you know, chucking a missile launcher at me every once in a while. It's one way to keep you on your toes, man. <laughs> you got mini nukes. Again, though, they weigh. They, and, oh, two antibiotics. Nice. Yeah, mini nukes, uh, they have a lot of weight to them. That's why you don't pick them up. Or missiles, or missile launchers, because you're just, you can never play survival mode with that. You would have about two guns on you if you were using missile launchers. Has anyone ever actually used, um, leave a comment below, anyone has ever actually used a missile launcher, like, regularly on this game? Oh, do you know what? I have a missile launcher on me, don't I? Yeah, the Panzer Shrek. I completely forgot about the Panzer Shrek. Fuck it, I'm gonna see if I can get a missile off that guy. <laughs> Where is he? Right, you. Do you have a missile for me? No, he's just... Oh, wait, he has one missile for me. Right. Right, okay. When I find the opportunity, I'm gonna fucking use a Panzer Shrek on someone. <laughs> right. What's down here, then? The whiskey has worn off. Fantastic. Time for vodka, then, I think. You may any vodka. Rum. Right, rum. But addicted to alcohol? You're a bit late on that one game. That happened years ago. Fusion core. Oh, shit. We're down to two fusion cores. We should be fine. Yeah, I'm just running in circles, so maybe not. Get that mutant hound meat, because you can you can cook it and it removes approximately 1% of your fucking rad damage. It's so useful. I know that there's still some super mutants upstairs. I only sort of like half killed the, the first floor, and then I just sort of fucked off down the lift. Right, open sesame. Right, who wants to have a go? What have they killed all your wee pals downstairs, lads? Right, he's only a skirmisher. Should I test this out? Let's test this out. Alright, pal, how are you fucking doing? Somewhere. Yeah, right here, pal. Is that really that hard to spot? Sup just a normal super mutant. And he's wee pal. Right, hold on. Hands off, Shrek! Wait, I can't equip the- Oh, no, I can't use the Orifice Annihilator when I'm in the power armor suit. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to use the chibber, lads. Right, get a chibber out. Right, come on, mate. Have a fucking go. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna wait on my health gone up slightly and then till he comes over. Moan then! Uh, this is kinda underwhelming. But it got the job done. Alright, cool! Oh, 50 cal bullets, yes. I guess this is an armory, I really should be finding more, more bullets about this place, to be honest. Right, open the door, my girl. I wonder how, <laughs> how difficult would it be to, like, pick a lock while wearing this shit? <laughs> Oh, US Covert Operations Manual, all covered in blood. Pen permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. Alright then. I'll take it, and I found some whiskey. Today has been a good day. Mini nukes, uh, shotgun shells, and all the good shit. Alright then, it's no bad. Right, can I, can I look at this computer then? Right, okay, let's see. Oh, fucking hell, man, we got fucking full on every single memo this guy ever wrote. Well, this guy's an army man, so we need to put on the army man voice. As of today, command of Fort Strong has been passed to me. I am looking forward to helping the US Army test some of its experimental weapon systems at our facility. I've already had the men prepare the island for testing operations by tearing down the old barracks and constructing a simulated town. Since we'll be fighting the enemy on an urban front, I think the best way to test these weapons is by seeing how well they punch through civilian structures. We have been testing the new batch of T-51B power armor suits that the Army Corps of Engineers just rolled off the assembly line. I'm impressed with the amount of protection they afford our soldiers, yet allow them a great deal of mobility. I've noticed the soldiers are still having trouble jumping in these things because the suit weights. They often tip over on hard bandings. I've had the maintenance boys look at it and they're suggesting adding a gyroscope and shock absorbers to the lower torso. I'll pass it up the chain and see if I can get Washington to spend some extra money. It'll cost them for modification. Things are starting to heat up overseas. So Washington is pushing us to cut our project turnaround times in half. Told them that would be dangerous, but it seems like we don't have much of a choice. I've decided to split my staff into Alpha Team and Bravo Team so we can work on two projects at the same time. The manpower will be reduced but I'm convinced that we will still be able to maintain our new schedule. I'm going to put Alpha Team on the power armor and Bravo on the new M42 Fat Man launchers. Alpha Team just shipped out the first batch of T-51B suits to the front in China. Reports are already coming in that the suits are performing better than expected. Chewing through enemy tanks and armor like they were paper. Word has it that some of the enemy troops are even surrendering when they catch sight of the power armor troops. Holding their 5mm miniguns. Looks like Alpha Team has earned himself a weekend pass in Boston. 
Ooh, raw. <laughs> Bravo team is having a heck of a time getting the M42s not to shoot far enough away from its firing position. Problem is that the warhead is still too heavy to fire the distance required. Our simulated soldiers are still soaking far too many rads and suffering blast burns. One of the technicians has suggested a radical idea of using a conventional depleting subcharge to catapult the round rapidly out of the launcher. His calculations look sound, so I'm letting him give it a try. After a few design setbacks and the loss of one of our testing squads. Wait, seriously, they fight they killed a whole squad with the fucking fat man. <laughs> they, they killed an entire squad. That must have been a really fucking bad day. We finally perfected the M42 launcher's fire mechanism. Washington has been riding me to wrap this project up, but with a weapon this potent, I was inclined to take my time. We sent the launchers ahead to the supply yard in Mississippi, and we're just waiting for the go-ahead to ship the warhead wherever they need to go. Hopefully we can get those nukes out of here before the month is out. I don't feel comfortable sleeping 20 feet above enough nukes to reduce this island to ash. Yeah, I'd be a wee bit uncomfortable if there was literally just staying in a building full of nuclear weapons. Especially when you keep one in a fucking case in the corner. That's, it's kind of asking for trouble, to be honest. Oh, there's a safe here. I didn't even notice that. Fuck. Have I got a level up? Am I anywhere near a level up yet? Ah, eh, about halfway there. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have that to do that then. Oh well, too bad. Oh, we got ourselves quite a few 50 cal bullets now. Nice. Look. Right. Whoa, Jesus, Dance. Where you the fuck do you come from? As much as I do. Jesus, can you can you fucking go? You're standing in the bastard door. Why why you gotta hate the the player, man? You need to hate the game, son. Hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It's probably not as gruesome as what the super mutants would do, to be fair. It may be the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. They're really not that important. It's my missions are the ones that are important, man. I'm only here because I get to shoot shit. I couldn't give a fuck about your fucking moral son. I suppose you're right. And judging from the corpses around here, you don't appear to need much in the way of motivation. I never need anyway, motivation to make corpses, pal. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back Aye. up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Right, up, pal. Whoa! Did he just fucking vanish? He did, didn't he? He just, he just straight up teleported. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Fuck you. Looking at me like that. Wait, hold on. I need to talk to him for something. Head back to the Pridwin. Yeah, I know. I'll take care of the shells. And the mess. I doubt you're going to take care Yo. of that mess. <laughs> ready to continue our mission, soldier? No, I need to talk to you for some fucking reason. That depends. How are you feeling? My power armor systems are within normal operating. Can you just give the word? No, mate. Not now. No problem. No. Yeah, just pass off. Right. Is we there a... Is, is there a, a fucking vertebra to take me back? I don't know if there's a vertebra to take me back. Do I need to really go and walk up there myself? I can't even turn in this quest yet. I need... Fuck's sake. I don't know if I've done it out of like order and it's it's kind of glitched out or something. I don't know. But uh, I think I need to walk around and get back to the fucking Pridwin myself. Which is great because I know that there's some really deadly shit out here and it's really not a good idea to, to walk around out here by yourself because um, you could die pretty violently. Um... Yeah, I need to watch out for some robots. You do get some random robots in this area. I don't know why that is. Oh, another power armor suit. Well, it's of no use to me. It's XO1. Ooh. Ooh, I'll come back for that. Oh, fuck's sake, man. The bourbon's wearing off. Wait, did I have a dick tall? Yeah, I do have a dick tall. Right, if I can save it here, then I'm gonna save it here just now. Yes, I can save it here. Right, good. Good, good, good. Right, well, we'll end it off just here. I don't want to walk around here and end up dead, and then it resets everything, and I would be absolutely raging. So, let me just jump out of this right here. Leave my power on my suit. Just chilling for now. But, eh, uh, that, that'll be enough for today. Let's make sure we're safe. Yeah, we're safe. Right, okay. Let's get a nice 
Let's get a nice uh, shot here for for the thumbnail. <laughs> There it is, look at that, it's looking epic. But yeah, that's enough for today lads, if you did enjoy then don't forget to hit the like button down below to help support the series. And if you could like share it and stuff, try and push it out there a little bit, get a few more viewers involved and uh, keep the series sort of growing and you know, more viewers coming in, then uh, that would be appreciated as well. But until next time, my name has been Big Mooney, this has been One Bomber on Fallout 4, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. Oh man, he got a fucking disease again, fuck. <laughs>